Come on over, come on over, come on over. I want to talk to you today about huge EIN only business loans. So we are going to compare and contrast national funding, P2BI, Excel Capital, and forward financing. Don't go anywhere. You know why? Because you're going to love it. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Story Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you are to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee, RT, or vodka, and let's roll. In today's conversation, I have a clear proposition for you. I want to talk to you about gigantic business loans with EIN only. We're talking about up to $10 million guaranteed approval, and we're comparing today the awesome business funding solutions offered by National Funding, B2B investor, Excel Capital, and forward financing. So when we speak about EIN only business loans, it's very important to understand that your personal credit doesn't matter anymore, right? Now we're focusing on the um, the constellation of features that the business your business offers to the lender. I'm talking about everything from your financial statements to the business licenses and permits to the insurance that you have and the business's credit. It's very important. So bad credit doesn't matter anymore. And uh, you have to fo- you have to pay attention to a couple of things. Now, before I even move on, let me just say that even if you have bad credit, it doesn't matter because we're speaking here about EIN only business loans. OK, you have bad credit, low credit, fair credit, doesn't matter. And one thing I want to say here is that when we speak about huge EIN only business loans, we're talking about a constellation of uh, business loans. For example, we have t- business term loans, business lines of credit, business equipment loans. This is this one is very important because this is one type of uh, asset based loan. In other words, the uh, the lender is uh, financing up to 100 percent of the, the purchase. So it's a collateralized loan. OK, and uh, the equipment, of course, acts as collateral for the loan. So there's no need for it quality in terms of your personal credit or business credit we also think about invoice financing arrangements you also talk about accounts receivable factoring arrangements and last but not the least when we speak about huge EIN only business loans we are referring to merchant cash advances aka MCA so uh, a merchant cash advance is an is an advance on your firm's future sales and they can deliver this kind of a loan can deliver quick access to capital. You will often repay the advance as a percentage of your daily credit card and debit card receipts plus fees. In other words, you can't really qualify for an MCA if you if you don't get your revenue through electronic means. You don't like if you are in a cash if you are doing a cash business, it's very difficult to get an MCA, if not impossible. So how do you actually get a an EIN only business loan? There are a lot of things you need to do. One thing that's very important is that you want to build your business credit score. But again, it doesn't matter if you're going for a collateralized loan, even if you don't have uh, the perfect, the most perfect business uh, credit score, it's still okay. If you have time and you think it's important, and I think you should think it's important trying to work on your personal credit also, you want to write business, uh, you want to write a compelling business plan. And uh, it, it's kind of important for entrepreneurs and small business owners to understand that when we speak about huge EIN only business loans an important uh, the an important criterion the fulcrum of your application is an e, is a business plan because the lender doesn't really care about um, you know confirmation from the IRS that you have the EIN you have an EIN number or whether you have a business of permits and licenses what they care about is the vision they care about the solidity of your financial statements they care about the vision so the financial statements just tell them where the, where the company has been and what the company is from a financial perspective. But business plan will actually uh, lay out the foundation for a future, for future success. So it's very important to have that. You also want to uh, 
pay attention to when you go for whether you want to go for a national funding p2bi excel capital or forward financing you want to pay attention to a few other things you want to pay attention to the business loan options the eligibility requirements the cost and the customer service it's important if you want to combine you you want to you want to get the funds you need and you want to be able to establish a relationship with the lender customer service is quintessential okay and you also want to pay attention to the eligibility requirements things like minimum business credit score minimum years in business minimum annual revenue and in some cases minimum personal credit score okay pay attention to the cost things like um, additional fees closing cost underwriting fees origination fees we've seen uh, when you speak about mcas you have factor rates if um, there are some business loans that want to have a down payment and you got to think about the apr also so before i get into the actual review here please check out our short video about our methodology we do have a, a rigorous approach when it comes to uh, evaluating categorizing and reviewing business loans on this show check this out All right, folks, let me first talk to you about national funding. So when we speak about national funding, what are we talking about here? We're talking about a player that provides EIN only business loans that are huge. I mean, you can borrow all the way to a million dollars. OK, and uh, so if you can't really get a bank loan, you want to go to national funding. So they're called an alternative lender. So when you hear the term alternative lender, it means that their rate will be a little high. That's just how the game is played. You can't do anything about it. So you can borrow anywhere between uh, 50,000 to a million and the required annual revenue is $100,000. Okay. Minimum time and business in one to two years. And we love the fact that they have a minimum time to funding of one day. That's fantastic. What are the pros and cons here with national funding? The pros, low credit score requirements, discounts for repaying early, no collateral required. And what we've seen in our research is that the application process is very fast and easy and they will disperse the cash to you ASAP. As soon as uh, you submit all, all the documentations, you're fine. And uh, the, the cons, rates can be expensive. Again, when, whenever you hear alternative lender, you have to uh, automatically think about the rates being expensive. That's just how, again, the game is played. And they might charge you some additional fees. Repayments are required frequently. And uh, what we've seen sometimes on their website is that some of their websites, some parts of their website are not tr fully transparent and in some cases misleading. So one thing you want to do if you want to consider um, national funding you want to contact them you want to speak to someone you want to have a conversation with a live person and based on the the type of loan you want because they again as i said earlier they cover uh, every, everything from uh, merchant cash advance to business loan to credit line okay so even if your business has a poor credit you can qualify but you got to talk to someone okay and uh, one thing you also need to, to make sure you understand here is that the uh, national funding sometimes uh, they, they, they do have uh, some customer service issues, that, at least what we've seen on a trust pilot and a triple B. So people have said people have complained about the fact that they, they weren't getting back to them quickly. And people have also said that they have uh, aggressive sales tactics. And uh, they, they're saying that they might be uh, sometimes they might actually uh, be harder to qualify for than usual. But again, in our analysis, in our research, we've seen that it all depends on the location of the business and the fundamental, the fundamentals of your business. Let me talk to you quickly about P2B investor, P2BI. So when you think about P2B, I want you to think about a peer to peer lender. OK, so what they do is they offer asset backed lines of credit to qualify B2B businesses. Of course, the whole thing is EIN only. When we speak about asset backed, we're talking about what? Collateralized line, lines of credit, collateralized loans. All right. And uh, the application, what we've seen is very fast and easy. And the company is very transparent and communicative. And uh, if you really look at uh, all the uh, the other 
if you look at their competitors, we've seen, at least in our analysis, that B2B investor is competitively priced and they actually uh, solve a lot of problems. They solve a lot of problems that mid-sized and startup, mid-sized businesses and startups actually have. And what are the criteria here? Minimum time in business, one to two years. And you can borrow from 50 grand to a million dollars. So we're speaking about huge EIN only business loans here. And the required annual revenue, more than $200,000. So they want you to have, so what's that? $200,000 divided by 12, you're looking at um, uh, nearly 150, 150,000, 175,000, right? So it's kind of high. It could be a little high for some um, some startups. But again, the, the P2B investor specializes in B2B businesses. So they only lend to B2B companies. So if you are in the B2C space or the B2G space, business to government, you might not qualify. But again, give them a call. Make sure that you, you speak to them. And uh, what are the pros and cons here? The pros. No credit score requirements. Again, yeah, we, we're speaking about EIN only. And uh, on top of that, we're speaking about collateralized loans. So the underlying asset is the uh, is the uh, the collateral here, right? The required annual revenue already said that. So they have a uh, high borrowing amounts. Rates tend to be cheap with uh, B2B investor. And the application process is fast and easy. And what about the drawbacks here? So the loans are only available, as I just said, to B2B businesses and collateral is required. Required Some additional fees are charged, okay? And they're not available to businesses in some industries. So again, this is why you wanna contact them and have a conversation with a live person before actually making a decision. Very important. But overall, this is a great player. We would uh, recommend it like really, really ASAP. It's a great company. I'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another section of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. We're still having a convo about um, huge EIN only business loans. So we are, compar we are comparing and contrasting national funding, P2BI, Excel Capital, and forward financing. And now I want to review Excel Capital. So what is Excel Capital? Now, Excel Capital is part of the, the new wave of online lenders, okay? And they offer alternative loans to uh, businesses and um, individuals in some cases. So Excel Capital is an online lender and uh, they offer unsecured business loans. They also offer uh, business lines of credit. And in some cases, they might offer you working capital loans and other financial products. And uh, we love the fact that um, they are very, very, very flexible here. Minimum time in business less than one year. That's fantastic. So this, if you are a startup, if you have a startup, you might qualify with uh, Excel Capital. A required annual revenue, at least uh, 100000 Borrowing amount between fifty to a million dollars. And minimum time to funding one day. We love, we, we love this kind of criteria because sometimes you need the cash quickly and, and you just want to apply, so supply all the... Uh, require paperwork and get your cash and get your approval quickly and you don't want to sit around and wait and wait and wait as you would sometimes if you went to uh, if you go to a traditional bank or a uh, credit union okay what are the pros and cons here with excel capital so excel capital you have lower lower borrower qualifications than with banks that's true because you know they are an alternative an alternative um, lender and multiple types of financing are available. You have high borrowing amounts. The application process is fast and easy. And we love the fact that you can get your cash as soon as possible. And what about the cons? Now, rates can be expensive. It makes sense. We're speaking here about an alternative lender. Repayments are required frequently in some cases. And um, Excel is not the most transparent lender, really, because their website advertising is misleading. So Excel Capital, if you're listening to us, you really want to, fix that because it's not really helping you it's not bringing re business to you and it's just better for you guys to be more more transparent so what types of loans can you get with excel capital you can get business term loans ein only business term loans ein only business lines of credit ein only business equipment financing arrangements sba loans invoice factoring arrangements and merchant cash advances and of course, as I said earlier, the uh, the maximum amount you can get, you can uh, borrow is a million dollars. And we've seen people who actually got up to uh, nine million dollars. So it is possible to go above that threshold. 
Now let's talk about forward financing. So forward financing is another great player to consider. If you are a, um, a small business and you're looking for a, a huge EIN only business loan, you might want to give them a call. And uh, forward financing is an online funder that uh, specializes in, in providing small businesses and startups with capital on short notice. Okay, so this is the keyword here, short notice, emergency business loans. And we love the fact that uh, forward financing boasts a great combo of speed, transparency, and technology. Okay, and, and uh, they will love the fact that uh, they are very flexible in terms of their criteria. So they want you to have a minimum time in business, one to two years, credit score at least $500, $500, $500, FICO score, right? And the borrowing amount between 50000 to a million and minimum time to funding one day. And when you speak about forward financing, there are a few things that always uh, pop up based on our research. And uh, the pros, excellent public reputation. They have stellar reputation. And they have relaxed credit score requirements. And we love the transparency here when it comes to uh, forward financing. They're, they're very clear about how much things will cost you. So they have transparent terms and fees. And they have a fast time to funding. What about the cons here? And people have complained about, and we've seen this ourselves, that their high, their factor rates are kind of high, and they do have expense, ex, expensive terms and fees. I guess our stance when it comes to forward financing and other online alternative lenders is that high rates, expensive terms and fees do come with the territory. You know, if you have bad credit, fair credit, if you don't have excellent credit or no credit for that matter, then uh, yeah, you are going to have to pay more in terms of financing uh, cost. And uh, one thing I want to say clearly about um, forward financing is that um, basically they do have excellent customer support. They do have technical support also. And uh, so you really, uh, when you, we actually uh, call them up and they got back to us very quickly. And that was fantastic. So their staff is great. All right, now, decision time. What's your call here? Which one should you choose? Between, uh, if you're looking for a huge EIN only business loan, should you go to a national funding, P2B investor, XL Capital, or forward financing? Really depends. It depends on a couple of things. It depends first on the, the, the loan option that you're looking for, the, the lender's eligibility requirements, the cost, and the customer service. The great thing I love, at least uh, for the four, when it comes to the customer service of each of the four players we have uh, reviewed today is that they all have stellar customer service. They they have done a lot, of, you know, a great job in the last five years in uh, upping the quality and consistency of their customer service. So the criteria, that criterion shouldn't be really important, shouldn't be part of the equation. What should be part of the equation is the, the loan options that, that the lender has, okay, the cost. When I speak about cost, they, I'm speaking about everything from uh, APR to down payments to factor rate to origination fee to underwriting fees to closing cost and additional fees, right? That makes sense because, and, and down payments is very important. So if cash is tight on your end right now, you have to think about the kind of loan you want to get and the kind of lender you want to speak to. Because the last thing you want is waste your time applying for, you know, reading about the loan, applying for it, and only to realize at the end that you got to you gotta provide some kind of down payments. For example, if you have equipment financing and sometimes the LTV, the loan to value, is not 100%. The lender is not the lender wants to cover you know their butt too so what they're doing is they probably will be asking you to finance um 20 in other words to give a, a 20 down payment and they'll finance the 80 percent. so those are conversations you need to have in your you know with yourself or with your staff before contacting a lender and you also want to pay attention to uh, some other eligibility requirements that the lender might have for example they might ask for a minimum personal credit score usually this is very rare if we're speaking about EIN only business loans, but again, nothing is nothing is impossible. It depends on the lender here. Some lenders might want to have a minimum uh, years in business, so they want the borrower, the business borrower, to to be to have been in existence, operationally speaking, for at least uh, three 
to six months or one year or two years. Really depends upon the uh, loan arrangement. And some might have a minimum annual revenue requirement. So those are things you have to pay attention to. All right, folks. Thank you so much for being around. So in today's conversation, our favorite between uh, national funding, P2BI, Excel Capital, and forward financing, our favorite, our pick is forward financing. We have scored this company 9.5 over 10, national funding 8.5 over 10, P2B investor 8 over 10, and Excel Capital 7.5 over 10. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. I will see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.